Today's Gospel, Monday, January 11, is taken from St. Mark chapter 1, verse 14 to 20. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the Gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the Gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along, he walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Jen Kasumbal. It is the desire of every parent to send their kids to the best universities in the country or abroad if the family can afford it, believing that big companies have biases for graduates of these schools. After college, graduates enter the rat race competing for the best job offers and compensation packages. Through the years, they will put on endless hard work to climb the corporate ladder only to find out that it is more stressful and lonelier at the top. And there is where they usually start searching for their real purpose, for real joy and satisfaction. Today, Jesus asked us, Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. The biggest business conglomerate of saving souls, the Great Commission, is announcing its job opening for you. The Great Boss is calling and wants to hire you. Don't worry if you don't feel qualified for he will qualify those who will answer his call. He will empower you when you answer his call. The job may be tough, but it will surely bring you great and lasting joy. So, are you ready to get hired? Let us pray. Lord, I am not worthy to answer your call. Qualify and empower me to do your holy will. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.